Welcome to Tony's Bonsai. I've got an oak tree here. It's one of my ones that I collected from my sister's garden. It's got some really nice movement at the base, but then it's very straight. So although it's quite thick, I'm going to have a go at getting some movement into this. It tapers nicely at the base here. It's got some nice movement, nice low branch, but above this, it gets very straight. I do have some really nice buds appearing here, here, nothing on that side but two's not bad in that sort of position there's a there's a couple higher up as well so i do have the option of just cutting this off here and starting with this bud as a new leader and that's definitely an option that's why i'm not scared if i damage the trunk above this level because of these nice lower buds i do genuinely have nothing to lose so my thinking is if I can really get something going on up here. But for anyone who knows oak, it's a very strong wood. And that, I mean, I'm putting a lot of pressure on that and it's barely moving. So I'm going to have to be creative and come up with a way of bending this. This vet tape that I've just applied will hopefully supply some really good support to this trunk. My big question now is how do I bend something which is so, 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 um, so strong <laughs> and so hard, you know, it's, uh, it's very challenging. Now, with pines, you know, you can cut wedges. As I've done in previous videos with other trees, you can cut, do saw cuts, and that kind of stuff. You can even use a, a trunk splitter, split the trunk and twist. And I'm going to be doing some of that next year on some of my trees. But for this one, I'm going to use brute force. My plan is to use this G-cramp to generate the necessary forces to bend this. Now, obviously I've got nothing to attach to, so I'm thinking if I can put a piece of rope in here and attach a rope to the base, that maybe that'll give me the, the sort of something to anchor my clamps to. There we go. So that's solid. I can really crank on that. The harder question is how do I attach the base? I could do it here. If I, if I attached it at the bottom round here somehow and then pulled on these, oh, well, that could work. Let's have a go at that. Yeah, I think this will work. It's just a question of, of getting the loop on this side here. And I want the loop supported from here, like that. There will be like official knots to tie, tie loops like this. My dad will know it. My dad would know this knot. Is it a bowline? Is that what you do, a bowline? I forget, but... I think that might be a bowline. A bowline by accident. And now to get that from attached to there, what I'm going to do is run this string or rope or whatever you want to call it like this. Back round itself like that. That's not go that's going to stop this from moving. Like that. Back round here. That can't go anywhere now that.
that's going nowhere and then this can just be tied off like that easy enough so I'm quite pleased with that loop there that seems quite solid so now I've got two loops so to increase the leverage or leverage wherever you depending where you're from I'm wondering if if I if I position it higher like that it should add more torque onto this bend I just love this kind of experimentation I know some people wouldn't dream of doing this kind of bonsai work but I love this I love seeing what's possible so now oh yeah that might just work so I've got my g-cramp this can exert massive amounts of force I suppose my question is going to be can I get this top rope to stay on because as it spins I think it might throw the rope off it's got it is doing that's going to be the challenge so it's a good idea but because this is spinning I might almost need to make something out of wood that I can attach that will allow allow me to sort of hook it onto the rope I've just quickly knocked up this little piece of wood out of a piece of chestnut actually and the idea is that this now can sit in there so that sits in there like that and then as the pressure as I squeeze the the rope can go in this gap instead of trying to sit on the end of that so I'm hoping that this here now works but obviously I'll have to make this rope longer now hopefully I can get that in there first this wraps on here oh, we're good to go right let the bending begin either that or this piece of wood just pulls off <laughs> it might be a bit longer and maybe I should have made it a bit shorter we'll see so I'm beginning to put a bit of pressure on this now Is it beginning to move? Can you see it going? Something must be happening. Unless the rope is stretching. That's quite possible. It's beginning to get a bit tighter now. It's definitely beginning to put some bend in that trunk. And this isn't flipping off because it's running down the trunk, which is quite good. I think that's definitely stretched, but it's under quite a bit of tension. So I'll just keep going. Keep bending. Keep squeezing. That's getting quite difficult to turn now this. 
so that's putting quite a bit of strain onto that trunk developing quite a nice bend hopefully this vet tape is holding the bark in place if it does fracture a bit on that outside though I'm, I'm not bothered that'll just add character I'm going to keep going I think I'm going to go all the way down as far as I can get this will it snap we're getting we've only got another centimetre but this is all putting really nice bend on this trunk now question is can it take it this is exciting stuff we're down we're locked in there that's my maximum that I can put on it I think that's not bad I'm happy with that bend I'm really happy with that beautiful curving bend it might be a bit cracked under there the bark but oaks are so tough that'll be fine what I'm going to do now is leave this for a few days in my workshop to settle in let the wood get used to its new position and then in the future probably in a couple of weeks time I'll remove this cramp set in a piece of wire because I don't want to leave my cramp outside all winter so I'll just put a piece of rope in to do the same job if you want to see how it goes in the future this tree when I remove the string next spring see how it sets in place you know what to do hit subscribe apart from that another success have a great day. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you soon.